to determine where we will p position our buttons exactly, we lay out our dance mat, or dance surface. Over our hard foam layer with the harness attached. And we label where to place the buttons via duct tape. First, set the latch roll by flipping like this. Ideally, one would use a different color than the same color used for a wiring harness and other taping down the steps. And then you set the parallel with the button like outside, like this. This is now where our down button will, will, will be positioned. Following that, following this plan of action, we repeat each step, folding, folding, like a, folding like a Tetris board. Or, or Rubik's Cube, whichever you prefer. By marking outside edge. Inside edge, and parallel positions. For A, we want to offset it slightly from this, from the arrows, so we don't hit it accidentally when we're doing two arrow presses with the same foot. So, we will define our A region here. A tiny distance away from each of these. And set some parallel positions like so. And like so. And we repeat for the start button.
which in this case, the top of the arrow, the top of the pad here will be our upper limit. We will, we'll, 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 we'll not mark because we know where B is positioned opposite of A. Instead, we'll mark up, which has a different color duct tape. This will be helpful. Upper limit will again be the top of the dance pad. So we just have to define our lower limit. And two side limits. And we finish off with left arrow. We have to mark our inner limit after repositioning here. And while we are here, since we don't want people stepping on the control box region of the pad, we cut off the region of the dance mat that is above the control box. Without cutting through any of, the, of our tape. And that is how you prepare where your buttons will be positioned precisely.